So straight into the next game in this men's pool A. The other two sides are Fiji and England. They will look to run out for their very first games. And this is a form sheet. Look at the last games there. Fiji lead 4-1. to one. Champions in Singapore, the Flying Fijians. And England struggled. 13th place in Singapore, did they not, Colton Anna? Yeah, didn't get their game really going, did they, last weekend, this England team. But, you know, they get another opportunity. Some of their big dogs aren't here. But Dan Norton, great to see him back in the colours. David as well, the captain, lead from the front. But this Fijian team, well, they looked outstanding last week. And I'm sure they'll be want to carry that on this weekend. They really did. Coached by Ben Gollings, former England Sevens hero. And now he's coaching against his old country. That will be a tasty matchup indeed. You know what, when you can put Jerry Tuway on the side of the bench, I think you haven't got too bad a starting seven, but Nathungo, I think he's a really fantastic player, and I think he's one that's really starting to lead from the front for this Fiji and outfit, and Dungu, but he's been brilliant as well, the skipper in jersey number four. Can't wait to see them jam in real life. It's been waiting two years for Dylan. Ah, uh, the crowd here as well, absolutely loving it. What a beautiful place to be for the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Vancouver, Canada, such excellent hosts. It's such a stunning place to be. Well, the Viti Dolls, they travel around everywhere, Fiji. Always, heavily supported. Nisa Bully Vanaka, Tosso Fiji. Let's go, Fiji, they reckon. I'm sure they won't disappoint, but a very tough matchup, as always, between Fiji and England. Uh, they got the drums out there. They've got the music, it's loud. It's an early morning in Fiji. So, hello there, and good evening in England to our fans. Captain's coming out here. Savita Dangunu and Alex Davis lead out the side. They play 85 times, these two countries. Fiji lead 48. England have won 37 times. A new opportunity for both these sides. And oh, Fiji, you are so beautiful to watch in this game. England will have a real task on their hands. A lot of smile on the England faces, but they'll be saying, you know what, yep, we're up for the challenge. We've got to be physical. We've got nothing to lose, Fiji. The pressure's all on them, but they've shown in the last week or so that they can handle it. They look like the old... PG, but are starting to really connect and jam and well i reckon this one's going to be a goodie now referee for this one you harry rivero with the whistle big moment for our officials as well on the biggest stage england on the left and then you look kit pg on the right to receive in white and black The champions, seven days ago, have their first pool game here against England. Chip kick towards the near side. It's batted back and came to Norton. Oh, it's a good restart, Dan Norton, the highest try scorer you've ever seen in the world of sevens. Who knows how long he's going to keep going for? He's sending a couple of hints out, isn't he? Well, I did chat to him earlier, and he posted on social media the last dance. I said, Dan, the last dance could be a season, it could be the tournament. He says, well, I think it's the tournament. So, we'll have to see. So, just one change for this Fiji inside. Salathola is out, Tira Patterson is in. Feed here from Filippo. From Bukayaro. Goes down the short side. Decides to turn it back in for Fiji. Looking to cut in straight away. Great little break in midfield. Oh, the no-look flick is fantastic. A space here on the outside. Stretching the legs. Fiji will go in. And that's how they start things. Uvioa, Nanduvalo with a fantastic finish from the team we have come to love to watch. Oh, the speed of transfer, though, was something that was amazing in there. Raka, Rasaku. Look at him just straighten. But this pass in behind takes the shot. And look at this. How good is that dish? They're starting off early with the razzle, Fiji. No mucking around. Create the space on the outside for Nandavalo. Scored a record 10 tries in debut in Asia last week. Right on the board already. 5 nothing. the score so far. And Fiji with this player have been a special team to watch and back on the series only debuted last week but it doesn't look out of place whatsoever this young kid so i see a kicks down to davis in england 
for that ball here. Jamie Biden looking for Dan Norton or don't give him the best pass. Norton picks it up and gets the buck going. Backwards. Still there for England. Biden again. Release. Needs to protect possession. They do. Blake Boylan is in there as well. Debuted in Malaga in the start of the series. Cross field for England. Into the contact. Afi Mbabadra into the 22. England working hard here to recycle possession. Lovely step in midfield. Down to the ground they go with Boylan yet again. Davis changes direction. Mbabadra gets upended. England, long passage of play here for them. Still, though, inside their 22 with Dan the man. Stepping back in field. Dan Norton, all-time leading try scorer. 357. David Wellington in 2009. And it's a wayward ball. Yeah, there's been a couple of those already from this English team. It's been a little bit loose. Passes going to Dick. The ball spinning out on the side of the ruck a couple of times. So... Sometimes when you play Fiji, you feel like you've got to play fast and it causes these types of situations. They had the numbers here. I don't think you need the miss pass. You're trying to get it wide. You can see the space. Crouch. But Fiji looking very composed on defense. Boy. inside, defying Fijians. Coached now by Ben Gollings. And Bukayaro looks for Nasungu. Stepping back in. We're seeing Nasungu. Flicks it back to his forwards. The sewer, but couldn't have really to crash it up. The hands are there. Tanakai Butter is in as well, but Nothungu looking to cut them to shreds up the middle. And the man that gave you the Gold Coast in 2013, who plays with the Police Blue Rugby Club, has Fiji's second try. There were three passes that were unreal. The first one, Bakuru Nabili. There's one out the back door. There's another one here. We're not going to get to see it. But in the build-up to that try from the Thunga was absolutely outstanding from Fiji. Conversion attempt. Unsuccessful. 10-0. Yes, the passes. That's the difficult thing with this Fiji. We saw the defence how they got the turnover, but it's the passes. At the moment, the offloads which makes them so difficult to defend, especially when they go into their contact area. 99 tries for Waisia Natungu. Now his wife Mariana is watching, his sister Aidy, brother Setafano, tuning into this broadcast. Again, that's about the fourth time already at the start of this day where teams have been taking too long to restart. You have 30 seconds after the conversion. So that's Stop. just an easy turnover. Exactly what England Stop. needed, to be honest. They've been shut out so far. England coached by Tony Woke, the 43-year-old. Appointed head coach in December. Stop. Having coached Great Britain. Stop. The Stop. Olympic Stop. Games. Stop. And on 2021 as well. Stop. Played 27 Stop. events for England on this series. So looking to rebuild this side. Of course, Dan Norton looks to announce his retirement, perhaps at the end of this tournament. Stay tuned for that as Davis loops around here for England. Trailing by two tries, Alex Davis. Debut the Gold Coast in 2014. England take it forward. Jamie Adamson is able to get through a little bit. Sana Kaibata comes in with a tackle. Afi moves it across. Hill Davis again whips it wide. England, a little dummy switch on their far side. They beat one player really well, Boylan. Davis drives the legs well. For the men from England. Bounce pass. And Babadra. Can England unlock something here with Dan Norton? Dan comes across field, back to the midfield. They're going to weave some Norton magic. Gets the offload away with a big collision. Oh, it was on though. Dan Norton just needed a straight runner to hit. He created a number of holes. And England players just waited. They had a hole run, and I'm sure Dan would have hit them. It was just so dangerous. I haven't seen him oh the ball in his hands enough. This is just the back end. But look at this defense coming in. Number 11 coming across. Crack! Nothing wrong with it either. The Saku putting on a shot. 
you really have to be up for it when you play against Fiji. It is such a physical game and very tough to defend. Nathungu comes across field, up by 10. Yeah, with the final play in the first half, he gets the loop around. Well, I see it, Nathungu. Looking for a little short runner down this side. It's picked up really well from the captain. Sangonu lays it down for Fiji. Bakur Nabili across. Wide ball here for a couple of steps in midfield. That's where they're so dangerous and they can open you up. It's Fiji that are flying here. Filippo and Bukayaro dives underneath the uprights here in Canada. It's a fine effort from the Fijians. Yeah, looking sharp, aren't they? Fiji, Filippo, Bukayaro. He's been good in the seven jersey. Getting the start in front of Jerry Tua. Look at him here. Nice footwork. There's a little skip we know from the Fijians. There's the pace as well. He just skims along and makes it look oh so easy. Filippo Bukayaro. Lovely dive as well. Three tries for Fiji in the first half. And that brings a half-time whistle as well. The Flying Fijians lead 17-0 against England at the break. Almost last week in England. So eighth in the series, finished 13th in Singapore. Looking to go better here. Second half underway, Fiji kicking off from left to right. Bola Banaka, where are you tuning in to our Fijian fans? And hello to our English supporters as well. Fiji come to the short side. England receive this, and they get yeah. the penalty here. Dangerous hit in the air. I'm Dallas Nasser, joined alongside by former New Zealand Sevens captain Carl Tanana. Great to have KT back in the hot seat as well, as Will Homer goes for a run for England. But extra roll. Yeah, something that the referees have really highlighted already on day one is just extra roll, which is allowing your support player to get there a little bit early. You can hit the ground, you've got to release it instantaneously. Can't have that extra roll with momentum, it's fine, but here's, here's the good tackle. Got to set it there, not have that one extra roll there. So the kick didn't go out. England reclaimed this one really well. Some soccer skills. Norton floats one downfield inside the 22. England haven't had many line breaks in this game. It's been very tough to bust through. Jamie Adamson out of Durham University, the 22-year-old. Norton, who needs no introduction, gets it across quickly. That's a little break there from Jamie Barden. Oh. Another penalty at the breakdown. Yeah, it's re really technical, but it's correct. It was off, but you can't seal off the ball and stop the defender trying to compete for it. So one they've had one for an extra roll. See, they slide through and stop the opposition player coming to compete the ball. You can't do that. Fiji champions last week and here in 2018 when they beat Kenya in the cup final. To the thrill of their fans. We'll see it. Nathungu goes across field. The bounce ball picked up here from Iwani Temba. Temba to the 22 for Fiji. No, you're on the ball. Jasua Bakurnabili waits the gold medals in Tokyo down the short side. Nathungu tie 100 for the Fijian legend. Wasia Nathungu. He salutes the crowd, his parents watching back home, his father's a fisherman, and will be delighted with his son's performance. Oh, I can see how he just went across and he bit the Jamie Adamson. The Thungu knew, knew what he was going to do straight away. Fake to go open, he knew there was a little bit of a blind, and you sleep on this bloke, he will absolutely sting you 100 tries. Welcome to the club, son. Well, he's from the Vatua village in Ba. And becomes the sixth Fijian to score 100 tries on the series. An unbelievable player over the years. Debuted at Gold Coast in 2013. Gold medalist at Tokyo as well. 100 on the trot. So Fiji starts strong here in the opening Pool A clash here. Four to play. They stab it deep. Joe Browning was back there to help. He receives it now from Freddie Roddick. Browning, a little half break over the 22. Homer to the right-hand side for England. Step. From Boylan, Norton at first receiver. Hasn't had many opportunities in this game to stretch those legs of his. 
get it's Joe Browning, the 20 year old, graduated from the Leicester's Tiger Academy. Yet to make his senior appearance, but enjoying his time here in the series. Norton flirts with it to the right hand side. England do really well on that outside channel. Dorlin again. It's Norton. Looks to go back with his experience. Trying a bit of time for his side. There is numbers there on the left hand side. But they go up the middle really well. To Jamie Barden. Finally, it's there. Will Homer in to receive. Oh, the big bump comes in. And Bavadra. 21 year old England their best attacking moment so far Browning tries to lead a couple keeps pumping those legs England tap and go quickly to the right looking to stretch the legs to Norton skips out of one able to get up again Dan Norton the city four-year-old England Need to strike here, and they do. The gap opens up superbly. It was a little dummy as well. And Will Homer gets England on the board. And that is an excellent response here in the second half. Yeah, well constructed try there from England. Multiple phases, and that's what they need to do. They have to build their tries. They're not going to break the speed in line one on one, but they have to hold it. And finally, they found a crack in that pretty staunch speed in defence. Ball in two hands. Sees the defender turn his back, and then he backs himself. Does Will Homer. Curling in the conversion, up it goes, 22 points to 7, a fantastic strike from Will Homer, the 26 year old. So, two to play here, in this pool A clash, Fiji, Bakurna Billy dishes it off early, Joseph Ali Saro, in their own 13, Play on the that far side, looking for a big jump. Lovely offload yet again, playing with real confidence, Fiji. Why not? We're having fun here at BC Place. And Kamenele Rasoku gets another for Fiji. But it, it's all created from another outstanding offload on the edge from this Fijian team. Look at this. Just rolls it underneath. That is absolutely brilliant stuff. Nice footwork to finish off at speed, obviously from Kamineli Rakasu, but look at that. That is just something I think the Fijians at the moment are miles above everyone else. So outstanding offloads, just so tough to defend. Well, this player, Rasuku, played alongside the Tuai brothers and the Barbarian brothers' seven team. And he said he could learn from the best there is in the business and learn he did. Magical player. Draw up to 35 tries so far. 27 points to 7, 20 points the difference here in this pool clash. England, just to try with that man in picture. Across they go. And Vadra takes the line really well, up in Vadra. Oh, the dummy as well. A lot of skills on display here. They're linking up really well with the English back line. Ed Coulson gets it away, Joe Browning. Browning into the 22. England, players on the right, they step back in, Will Homer, find time, flat ball to Browning yet again, oh, loose on the pass there, and penalty though first. It's hard right if they can get in here, England. Ed Coulson taps. Big step from Coulson on the right hand side. Homer is there. Flat ball to that far angle. A good speed there from Blake Boylan to finish things off here for England. They'll take something from this game. Well, there's definitely glimpses. That's for sure. And there's some good structure, I think. Jamie Adamson yeah, with you. did some good work when he was on. Also, we saw Will Homer doing some outstanding stuff. I think the number 30 has been brilliant. Uppy Bavadra has been very, very good. But there's still a lot of learnings that I'm sure they'll take away from it. But there's some signs. There's some signs for sure from this England outfit. So England have the last say in this game, but it's not enough to topple the champions from last week. Fiji final score, Fiji 27, England 12.